What else can I tell you about driving? It's crazy. Also, look at that. I made it back for another video. I'm proud of myself, I'm proud of us. This is amazing. Work, I'm vibing, it's your domain. It's all really good things from here on out, you know? I'm happy, I'm proud, I'm ready. Today is a video that's gonna help a lot of people. And that makes me feel really good on the inside, you know? I love to help people. Today's video is about driving. It can be scary to learn how to drive. It can be scary knowing how to drive and trying to drive now. But I'm here to let you know what I didn't know when I started driving. The one thing that nobody ever told me was that when you step on the gas, you're really gonna go. That that gas pedal does not need a lot of weight from your foot. So the first time I ever stepped on the gas, I gunned it. And I'm gonna tell you where I was because it wasn't pretty and it was terrifying and it was death defying and it was thrilling. I was in an abandoned Aldi's parking lot. Oh. And I gunned the car and I drove over a tree. I drove over, like over a f tree. Do you understand what I'm saying? This is the tree. This is me. And I went, Foom. this is the tree. This is me. And I went, Foom. and I went, Foom. 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 it was like a thin tree, but like, Still, that's still a shrub that I drove over. I drove over like a tree. I remember sitting in the car, stepping on the gas, and going right over this. So I went over and I heard the tree go like, boom, like thud the car. And then I heard it like scrape underneath the bottom, like, Ey! and then I saw it go, boom, flew back up from the assault that I just performed on it. No one was hurt, only I was, and that was the last time that I drove for a little while. I needed a break, you know? I drove over a tree. Like, I feel like that warrants a rest. I also remember that the first time I ever drove with my mom, um, I thought that I was going to um, murder her. I feel like that warrants a rest. Because um, I feel like parents make people really nervous when they're driving for the first time. It probably wasn't until like two years ago that my mom stopped like pushing on like the brake on the passenger side of the car when I was driving. Um, yeah, it'll take a while. I'm gonna be 30 this year and my mom was still pushing on the brake on the other side of the car. But it happens, you know, you have to become comfortable behind the wheel. You need to see where people are going. It can be scary. It's crazy out there. People aren't paying attention. There can be drunk drivers. There can be people on their cell phone. You can't control people. They're a nightmare. They're a nightmare to themselves. Of course they're gonna be a nightmare to you. So I always make sure that I like look around when I'm looking around. When you're driving at night, you're always gonna be looking for, you guessed it, police cars because they're everywhere and they want to give you tickets at night. They think your guard is down. They think that they are just the bee's knees and they're gonna get you. And sometimes they do if you're not careful. So when you go to a stop sign at night in your neighborhood, you make sure there are no cops around. So that if there are, you stop at that, whoop, you stop right at that stop sign. Don't you dare go and you count to one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, and then you go. No cops, stop sign, suggestion. Go right ahead, go through go through. You gotta get home. There's a new episode of The Act on Hulu, and you've gotta catch that episode. It's midnight. It's Tuesday at midnight. They premiere every Wednesday. You're gonna catch that episode before it's even Wednesday. Skip the stop sign. That stop sign. Stop sign. You go right through. Stop sign, that's a yield at night. There's a cop car, that's a red light. Don't even try it. You will get a ticket. It's crazy. Also, one thing, this is a real tip actually. When you're driving, 
you want to follow the flow of traffic. Especially in California or in Nevada, you want to really follow like the flow of traffic. That might be a little bit faster than the speed limit, it might be a little bit slower, but you want to be right in there because it's going to be easier for you to like maneuver in and out of lanes, turn left, turn right. You can do it all if you're following the flow of traffic. If you're trying to be a good Samaritan and just do all the good things, you're gonna get eaten alive. Speed limit is 60 and you're going 60, there's eight bitches out there going 85 and you're about to die. Think about that for a second. I mean it. Really soak that in. I'm back and, um, damp. Really soak that in. Like I'm pretty wet now. You're about to die. You better speed up, Molly Sue, because you're gonna get eaten alive by these sharks on the road. Don't say I didn't warn you. One thing that I didn't know, but now I know, is that like when you're turning lanes, another thing you want to be vigilant of is you want to see where the other cars are. Obviously, right? It's a no-brainer. But I remember when I first started driving, I thought that like if I started to pass the car a little bit, I could start turning over. What I forgot was that there's like a whole ass end to the car that if you start turning over, you'll hit the person. So you wanna make sure that you've really like gone out in front, that there's tons of space and then you can go. I never got in an accident, but I did get a few middle fingers and long honks on the horn. This leads me to my next point, honking the horn. The horn is your instrument. I'm using my instrument right now, my voice. My voice is the human horn. Use it. If you are at a red light and there's some busy, Betty, behind you, the light is red for half of a millisecond, and she's honking the horn like you're not paying attention. You better honk that thing right back at her. All the way through. All the way through to the next light. Show her what's up. Don't honk the horn at me, Miss Thing. Don't even think about it. I was at a red light for half a second, and you need to go where? We're all going to the same light. I see you trying to turn your light on to go to McDonald's. You don't need a McFlurry that badly. I don't care if it's March. They're gonna have that shamrock shake all the month of March. Unless it's about to be April in one second, you do not need to go to McDonald's any faster than I need to go to the next light. Calm down. I was checking my phone. Let me live. I'm gonna put it down. And now we go. We're gonna be safe. Another thing, when you're parking, my hat goes off to anybody who can park into a spot in reverse because there's nothing I love more than when I'm driving and I get back into my car after parking it and it's been sitting in the parking lot then turning it on and just going I do not like backing up shady things happen when you back up in a parking lot people are walking kids are running dogs are barking cars are moving if you can just make a clean getaway, it's the best. Do I think people who always back into spots are clinically unwell, unstable? I do, because you're a monster if you do that. Hat off, still a monster. And you know what? I always wear a mother seatbelt. Just wear it. I'm trying to think anything else that might be helpful to you. I have so much to give that it's hard. Sometimes just because like, stuck in here and then I uh, uh, just need to get it out. I feel like that's it. I feel like now you're ready to drive. Now you're ready to take on any highway. The road is your oyster. Ride it. Drive it. Do it. Go fast. Go slow. You choose. But if you're gonna go slow, go all the way to the right lane. Do not think that you're gonna go on the joy ride of your life going 45 miles an hour when everyone else is going 200 miles an hour around you on the Autobahn. Don't do it. Go, go over. Drive in the gutter. Don't get in my way. I do have like only two driving styles. I drive like a vision impaired grandmother or I drive like the bad cousin of Mario Andretti. So I get it. I get it if you fall right in the middle. Nobody's perfect. Forgive other people when they make mistakes. Just be safe. Look around. Enjoy. Driving is a fun experience, and I hope that these tips make your experience even better now that you have the knowledge. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure that you like and subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and please let me know your best driving tip because from the sound of this video, I don't sound amazing, so maybe I can use a little pick-me-up with my skill.
Yeah, that's it. Mm-hmm. Uh-uh. I'm in me mom's car. Get out of the car. Broom, broom. You're ready. <laughs> Bye.